Working with kids, I feel like they keep you young. They keep you on your toes. Them coming in through the door with their smiles. Hi, Sifu, how was your day? And teaching them and at the same time, us learning from them, everything's fulfilling. We really wanted to find a way to support women entrepreneurs uh, in particular in San Francisco. It was very important for Mayor Breed as well as the city to support the dreams that people want to realize and essentially provide them with an opportunity to receive funding to support improvements for their business so they could grow and they could thrive in their neighborhoods and uh, in their industry. Because I'm one of the consultants um, for two nonprofits here for entrepreneurship, I, I knew about the grant through the Renaissance Entrepreneur Center and through the Small Business Development Center. So I thought they were going to be a perfect candidate um, because of their strong values in the community. They really give back to this neighborhood. They're from this neighborhood and they really care about the kids in the community here. Molly first told us about the grant because she works with small businesses. She's been a tremendous help for us here. So she brought us to the attention of the grant just because a lot of things here were outdated and need to be up to date and just redone totally. Okay, guys, I know it's been a while. We're going to recite the creed today. So hands in front. Recite the creed. Begin. My oldest is JT. He's seven. And my youngest is Ryan. And he's almost six. They instill a lot of discipline in the boys, but they also show a lot of care. We think it's great. The Sifus are fantastic. Liza and Deandra both are great teachers. My son, Dushri, goes to FTK. He's been attending FTK for about two years now. They also have a um, summer program, and last summer was our first year participating in it, and they took the kids everywhere around San Francisco. This year, when we were talking about placing them in summer camps, all he wanted to do was spend the entire summer with them because they've become family for us. I think he has strong women in his life, so he really appreciates it, and I think that that carries through, and I appreciate the fact that there's more strong women in roles like that. I met Diandra 25 years ago, and we met through our interest in karate. Our professor, he started here on Cortland years ago, so we actually grew up here at this location. And he outgrew the space and he moved to San Bruno. Uh, 10 years later after he moved, he decided to reopen this location. Initially, I came back just to say, hey, because it might have been 15 years since I had been put on a uniform and my business partner Liza was here basically by herself and the person she was supposed to run with the studio, she, he was like, oh great, you're here. I started nursing school so you can take over. And it's like, no, wait, that's not what I'm here for. So I was by myself for, I wanna say a month before she came through. And she was technically here as a secretary, but Professor Lama insisted, why don't you just put on the uniform and go help her teach? Because I was struggling a little bit. Since then, she's been here. One thing led to another, and now we're co-owners. Think a lot more about safety after having children and wanted to just not live in fear so much. And so I just took advantage of the opportunity and I found it very powerful just to hit something to kind of get some release, um, but also having just the knowledge when you might be in a situation um, of how to take care of yourself. The self-defense classes, it's a, a new thing that we're bringing to FTK Martial Arts. Um, we started with a, a group of women last year um, as a trial run to see how it would entail, because there's a difference between self-defense and doing a karate class, and we didn't want them to do an actual karate class. We wanted you to learn the fundamentals of how to defend yourself versus you know, going through all the forms and techniques that we teach in a karate class and how to break that down. 
And then I was approached by my old high school at Leadership High School. Once a semester, the kids get to pick an extracurricular activity to take outside of the school walls. So my old uh, biology teacher is now the principal. She approached us into doing a self-defense class. And the girls have been really proactive and really sweet. It's a step out of their comfort zone, but they've been willing to step out and it hasn't been any pushback about it, which is really great. It's the respect, you have to earn it. During this tournament circuit, when we first came in, they knew us as Moe's girls. They didn't know who we were until finally we came enough for them to realize, oh, okay, they're, they, you know, they're in the business now. So it took a while for us to gain that respect from our peers, our male peers. So since receiving the Women's Entrepreneurship Grant, it's ignited us even more and put like a fire underneath our butts even more. We were doing our summer camp and we were in a movie theater and I guess, yeah, we just finished watching Incredibles 2 when she stepped out to receive a phone call and she came in and she screamed, hey, Liza, we got the grant. And I'm like, what, what? <laughs> FTK martial arts for us is really a passion and it's passion driven. There are days where we're, we're dead tired and the kids come and they have the biggest smile on their face and it's contagious. We've been operating this program for a little over a year. Of course, all women entrepreneurs. It's an extraordinary benefit for us that we've had the mayor's office directly invest in our program so that we can continue doing this work. It's been so impactful across a diversity of communities throughout our city. We hope that we're making some type of impact in these kids' lives outside of just learning karate, having self-confidence, having discipline, learning know when it's okay to stand up for yourself versus you just being a bully in school. These are the values that we want the kids to take away from this, not just I learned how to kick and I learned how to punch. We want the kids to have some more values when they walk outside of these doors.